hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel it's Nick Alex and I have some crazy news that speculates and may hint at tier 3 Dormammu a rework coming for our Lord of the Dark Dimension the ruler of the Dark Dimension yeah so in order to explain this fully I have to give you all the backstory here so just a week ago not that long ago just a week ago we had the video posted by CM Monday and CM Sunday where they talked about uh, new things in the game they talked about the reaction to Star Lord Tier 3 and the uh, Epic Quest, the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, Cosmic Ghost Rider, and they also mentioned character reworks. That was a big one, and I believe it was CM Sunday who said that, you know, we need more reworks, and then they said something about six reworks uh, a year, and we sort of pinned on that. And then they actually talked about Odin and Dormammu, and I think it was CM uh, Monday who mentioned Dormammu and Odin from the character reworks. So that got people talking because the last time they did a video, which was a couple of, it was about a month, a month and a half ago, they highlighted Odin and then lo and behold, oh, I can't even find it anymore. It's, it's gone. I can't find it. But anyways, Odin got reworked very shortly after, right? Odin was reworked just a couple weeks ago. So why is that important? Well, I got a message on Discord uh, the other night. Well, actually just last night, like 12 hours ago from Blunderbuss, AKA established in 8-bit. They've got a YouTube channel, which is awesome. And the video is called Dormammu Update Coming Closer Than You Think. So technically, this is not my information. I'm just relaying what I found that Blunderbuss first realized and showed me. And so in Blunderbuss's video, he goes through. And here's the thing. In Blunderbuss's video, I'm not not to sort of shade him or anything, but he seems to he seems to see more changes in Dormammu than I can see. I went through and I watched and I really tried to find as many changes as I could, but I could only find one change, one skill change, but that's enough. That's honestly enough. So big shout out to Blunderbuss. Thank you very much. Go check out the video. Go drop a like, guys. Uh, it's nice to support smaller content creators. And you know what? This is the kind of thing like I don't have a million eyes. I can't check every single character. You can't. But together as a community, we definitely can. And so it's really cool to, to see this kind of stuff. I really like that. So thank you to him or uh, to them for messaging me about this and so we're going to talk about it now and i'm going to show you what is going on okay what is going on with dormammu and how was he changed right because he was changed and this is the most bizarre thing he was changed with his very latest update now the footage that i have for you is not from a month ago because surprisingly no one was using dormammu a month ago or even six months ago so yeah this footage is really old so there is a small possibility there is a small possibility that Dormammu was changed earlier than or like further back however I played Dormammu regularly in Shadowland I can actually maybe I can't show you guys but I do play with him every week I try to use him before stage 30 of Shadowland and so oh yes I can show you haha -ha. so this week I used Dormammu on stage 21 and when I used him again today in preparation for this video after Blunderbuss's message I immediately went whoa that skill looks different and then I went back and I looked and yeah, you know what? The skill has changed. So I'm pretty sure I would have noticed it, you know, last week or the week before or the week before, before this patch. Now, when I say this newest update, I'm literally talking about the summer update that just landed. Yeah. The one that gave us this uniform and this, they're sneaking in other content, boys. They're doing other things behind the scenes. So Dormammu may very well be coming ASAP. Now, what that means for you, if you believe this speculation, I'm building up the hype. I know I haven't even showed you guys what it is that they changed. I know I'm being a bit of a D-I-C-K, but anyways, listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If Dormammu is getting a rework, okay, you got to save up. I know you just tier three to Odin, or maybe you just tier three to Silver Surfer, but do your best to try to save up 10 universal books and scrounge together what are the CCF, whatever CCF you can find. They got to give us more CCF. They got to give us more daily and weekly and monthly crystals. They got to give us more ways to farm gold. They got to give us more ways to farm Titan records, the books. They got to give us more ways to farm tier three materials. We are dying for more materials and more farming, especially in the game modes where they should be in the hard, high level, difficult game modes, conquest, ABX, GBR, etc. Anywho, danger room, but I digress. So let's take a look at two instances of two different videos from two different channels so i'm not cherry picking on the same thing and this is not my own content here this is the old dormammu second skill i want you to pay very close attention to how it animates so check it out it casts this fire circle here and then there's the hand is going to reach out as though dormammu has his own hand 
and it's going to sort of grab the enemy so it's sort of the pov it's your eye pov it's not it's not you're not seeing the fingers first you're seeing sort of the back of the hand first okay so you see there as the hand comes out you can see that the fingers are pointing away from dormammu and that the hand clamps around the enemy one more time see it there one more time see it there okay now let's take a look at a completely different video and we're going to take a look at the exact same skill the second skill so let's take a look what happens okay it clamps see the hand clamps away from dormammu and squeezes the enemies check us out oh we're just gonna get one maybe we'll get one more here there you go so you can very clearly see that it's moving away from dormammu the cl the clenched hand so I feel like I feel like I feel like Batman. I feel like uh, you know I'm doing some sort of investigation. Check this out. This is Dormammu's new second skill, right? See the difference? It's it's a completely different angle. It's almost like it's almost as if the hand is coming, is reaching out and squeezing towards Dormammu, because now you can see the fingers pointing at Dormammu and you can see the sort of the knuckles the knuckles have these kinds of spikes you can see that so the hand they, they completely rotated it's not a big change it's it's not a big change so you might be you might be scratching your head like what what is Alex talking about but they essentially rotated they rotated where his hand comes from it's probably the exact same animation they probably didn't make a new animation for this but you see it, it, it's very obvious from this angle that the hand is sort of you, you see the hand actually changes the hand actually changes position oh i just noticed that too as well the hand now changes position depending on where you are you see that isn't that wild yeah so sometimes it actually is still pointing away from dormammu but other times it's pointing towards him right crazy so yeah look at that it's it's very obvious from this angle that the hand is com is completely gripped the, the, so actually you know what from some angles it honestly looks like the old so from this angle this there's clearly something different here from this angle there's there's no way it's new there's no way it's old this is a new completely new animation here where you can see that the fist comes and sort of curls in towards dormammu but from other angles it actually looks like the old animation like that looks a lot more like the old animation from, from sort of like this that yeah this angle looks a lot more like the old animation but i think it's still i think yeah i think it's still the, just the pov but anyways that's it that's that's the whole change i know it's not much i know it's not groundbreaking it's not a smoking gun it's not you know some data mined new icon or new uniform or tier three ability icon with a name or anything like that but uh yeah they definitely 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 you can go back and watch the clips there's no way look at that there's no way that that's a that's a that that's, that's the old animation they completely changed it so they rotated it or something they added some sort of tracking on it because now it rotates depending on where you are and it will give you different povs depending on where you are in relation to the enemy that's not that doesn't take a lot of work but they've, they've obviously started working on it and there's there's no reason right if you think about it logically why would someone on the team the dev team work on this unless they were planning to do something bigger with it right it's not like they get to it's not like you know kids in in elementary school during free time you guys remember free time you can do whatever you want you can paint you can play with the board games you can sit by yourself in a corner if you if you just you know you're one of those loner kids you can go to the you can go to the bathroom you can go to the fountain and drink water you can go read a book it's free time it's not like it's free time in in dev land right marvel future fight it's free time you guys can go work on whatever you you want to go work on dormammu you want to go work on some new paid uh subscriptions for the game you want to go uh think up some new ways to rip off the players by not discounting uh cables uniform sure go ahead so obviously that's not that's not the case right i'm obviously being sarcastic so they did go ahead and rework in some way they reworked the animation or they sort of they did something to the animation of dread flame which makes me feel like which makes me think and it gives me the feeling that they're going to be reworking the base skills maybe not maybe not all of the base skills 
but some of the base skills for Dormammu. And then like Odin, they're going to be giving him a new uniform to boot. Now in Blunderbuss's case, he also, you know, saw some differences. I'll just tell you guys in case you can see them because I can't. But he also, the or Blunderbuss also saw, or sorry, um, what was it? Um, sorry, established an 8-bit. Apologies. Uh, saw some changes in the character gear icons. So the icons of the character gear and in the icon itself for Dormammu. This this icon of Dormammu seemed different. I can't see any differences, but I didn't notice the differences with Dormammu to begin with. So I will defer to you guys and let you be the final judge for yourself, whether you see it or not. And you know what's funny is this sort of thing was sort of foreshadowed in a small way when we saw and a lot of people noticed this because it was a brand new uniform right so we all went ahead and, and looked but uh the new gears for red hulk for the symbiote of vengeance red hulk look at that venom symbiote it's so cool this one right here it looks so amazing and that's brand new art right so i would not be surprised if they reuse this brand new art when they update venom carnage agent venom maybe they add some new venoms uh, or not new venom sorry <laughs> new new venoms new symbiotes uh to the game because if you go back and look at the original his gears still look goofy as heck his his gears are just mega goofy and you look at the pre uh prehensile symbiote it doesn't look anything like that the white symbiote doesn't look anything like what we just saw it's not worked on at all you go look at the classic one nope the classic one is the hunger it's not even the symbiote it's just the tongue and the hunger looks super weird and it looks it looks dated it looks it looks definitely 2015 2016 right this looks old so there's nothing in the game that even comes close to the level of detail and the level of art work you know someone worked on that right maybe maybe it takes them i don't know maybe it takes them an hour but that's that's solid work it's, it's hard to make something that detailed also be that small right so that wasn't whipped together in a minute you know and i don't think i mean it's tough to say but i don't think that was pulled from somewhere else right those are that's like you know that's that's consistent with the other in-game graphics for uh marvel future fight so yeah i think that that really foreshadowed something and apparently dormammu's coming to grab us so big shout out one more time to blunderbuss thank you to all the boys on discord that helped me find those video clips i really appreciate you i'm not going to name all of you because i may forget some people so i'll just thank you all uh, anonymously but you know who you are Hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think this confirms a Dormammu update? If I had to guess, I would guess a Dormammu. Like, if, if I was guessing and if I was leaning towards this being true, I would guess a Dormammu and Inhumans update. Because we already know from the given information that the Inhumans requirement is listed for squad battle. We don't use it yet. Dang, my rank dropped. We don't use it yet, but it is one of the requirements. It's in the game files. Instead of human, it's inhuman. Right, so they're, they're starting to make the differentiation and they designed a whole new icon for that you can see the human one is a little heart with a little uh, arrow so they designed a whole different icon for the inhuman one and it's sort of it has the sort of the inhuman symbol right so we have that and then might i remind you in case you don't remember back in 2017 that was the way to get dormammu the way that you used to unlock Dormammu was by completing the Ruler of the Dark Dimension special mission quest pack. And you completed that special mission quest pack by playing through the Inhumans missions. And actually, Dormammu was added in the same update that the Inhumans were originally added in. Karnak, Gorgon, Crystal, um, Medusa, and uh, maybe Moon Girl? Yeah, I, I feel Moon Girl was the last one. It was a very bizarre update to include Dormammu with the Inhumans. It was very strange, but it was very cool. Uh, looking back on that, I really appreciate the way that we unlocked Dormammu. I think I kind of took it for granted at the time. Now it's pretty disappointing to know that new players, if they want to get Dormammu, they have to just go and fork over 1,750 crystals to buy him the way that they buy Odin. I really wish Marvel Future Fight would bring back that way of unlocking characters by playing through content. It's a much, much, much more fun and much better way of doing things than just forking over a bunch of crystals. So yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.